everyone. Happy Sunday. Welcome to another vlog. It's been a pretty chilled morning so far. I've done my indoor workout for the day. I just did a walk on the treadmill. I have to say, that treadmill is honestly one of my favorite things I've ever bought. I really debated buying that for a while because it was, it wasn't super expensive. I feel like it was a reasonable price for what it was, but I have a tendency to buy things and use them once. So I was really on and ah and actually get in my little desk treadmill. I'm so glad that I got it. It makes doing my indoor workout so much easier. It just means that I can walk as I'm editing and doing things on the laptop. This time just goes by so quickly. So I've already done my indoor workout for the day. I'm about to take Freddie out. So that will be the outdoor workout done as well. I actually really like Sunday mornings because Dan has football every single Sunday. So it just means that me and Freddie have a really chilled, quiet Sunday morning. And then obviously we can spend the rest of the day together afterwards. He's like, come on, let's go. I'm gonna go for walkies. I actually don't know what I would do without Freddie now. Like he is genuinely my best friend. We do everything together. Come on. I can see that black with a tail. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Come on. Then. We're gonna go to Altrincham and we're gonna go ice skating today. And I'm so excited because I've been wanting to go so much recently, but I think the first few times initially, the thought of going by myself is a little bit scary. I have actually had one private lesson this year with one of the instructors there, and she was so lovely. Like the lesson was so much fun. But since then, I don't know, I've just been like having this mental block about going. So I feel like going with Dan, it's just maybe gonna make me feel a little bit more comfortable. So I put my little Lululemon jacket on, I've got my skates and I'm super excited. It's gonna be so fun. Dan is not important. Dan is here, but unfortunately this camera <laughs> is quite like tight so it doesn't really fit both of us. But we're off to Altrincham, we're going ice skating. I'm very excited. I'm feeling a little bit nervous, but I've got my skates and I'm just gonna try the basics today, if you know what I mean. Obviously, I'm very much a beginner. I have basically no experience in ice skating and it does feel a little bit daunting starting something like this as an adult because I feel like ice skating especially is something you tend to start when you're very very young. I did get given a few exercises to try when I had my lesson so we'll see if I can try any of those, remember any of those. But yeah I'm excited to try something new. literally how I've always done eggs and you always tell me that I do the best eggs so don't give me any of that crap. Jeez! Gordon Ramsay would not be impressed with those eggies let me tell you. I'm gonna have to give you guys a tour of Dan's office because oh thank you Freddie. I spent yesterday basically we got a new desk um to replace his old desk and it looks really good in there now. I'm actually quite jealous I kind of wish I had that room is my sort of like office, but I also have a whole dressing room, so I can't complain. I can't give you more treats. He's getting so bad for begging for treats. He's getting really naughty, isn't he's, he? He is becoming quite a naughty puppy. Ready? There's no way I'm gonna find my Beyonce on the other side without seeing her. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect when I did kind of get a glimpse of it. I was just like, that's not me. Okay. You know what I mean? And um, at the end of the day, like, I'm just ready to take this next step or two, so. Let's go! I sometimes have to hold my breath when Freddy's eating his food because he's become so fussy recently. A lot of the time when I put his kibble down, he wants nothing to do with it. And we've tried him on so many different foods at this point. I am slightly tempted to try, I don't know why I want to call it butter box. It's definitely not called butter box, but it's a food subscription box that I am tempted to try him on. We've tried him on Marley bones. Oh my gosh, so many different foods that I just can't even remember the name of right now because it's been a whole process trying to find a decent food for him. And I feel like there's so much online now in terms of what is best 
for your dog nutritionally, like what is a good dog food, what isn't a good dog food, what has good ingredients, what doesn't. It's really tricky and I don't know if it's a poodle thing but he has a very sensitive stomach as well so I do actually have to give him fiber, like extra fiber in his food every single day just to make sure that he has solid poops. <laughs> Sorry if this is a little bit gross to be speaking about but any dog moms and dads will know. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure if it is a poodle thing, but he's just always had a very sensitive stomach. And at the minute he is on dry food, which is what our vet recommended putting him on. I think also for his teeth, because wet food isn't necessarily as great for their teeth as dry food is. And this food does seem to agree with him. So, I mean, touch wood so far, he's been absolutely fine on it. Um, we've got him on Royal Canin, which I know a lot of people don't like Royal Canin, but for some reason it seems to work really well for him and that's all I'm really bothered about. But it's really funny because as soon as he starts eating, I feel like I literally just stand and freeze because I'm like, I don't want to distract him. I don't want him to get distracted from eating. I want him to eat his food because some days he will just not eat. He's not a very food driven dog. But anyway, it's Tuesday. Oh no, it's not Tuesday. It's Monday. Sorry. Jumping ahead on the week. <laughs> No idea what that was, but you know, life with the dog and all. Just taking Freddie out for a walk and it was so bright, so sunny, also a little bit warmer as well. I just can't even explain how happy that makes me because I am desperate for some sun and some warmth at this point. I feel like all I think about at the minute is just sitting out in the garden, on our little sun lounges, cold drink in hand. Just, I just can't wait for it. Like it's just, it's making me so excited. So I'm really hoping it stays this way because it did feel a lot warmer outside today as well. I'm gonna make myself some lunch and I think I might just meal prep some dinner too. I've had a few questions about what I've been eating whilst I've been doing 75 hard, which I will speak a little bit more in detail about when I do my full video on it. But there's one specific meal that has been probably a, my most eaten meal, and B, my favorite meal that I've had so far this year. And it's really great as well because it's very easy to meal prep. So I basically make kind of like the base salad in bulk. So I'll make a really big portion of that. And then we have it with salmon. So that's really easy just to make night by night because it only takes about 10 to 12 minutes in the air fryer. It's actually a recipe that I got on Instagram. So I can't take credit for it. Um, I will try and link the account down below that I found it from. You need a lot of lemons for this. So I got two packets of lemons in our recent shop. Okay, so we have onion, tomato, no, not tomato, tomato? No, not tomato. <laughs> onion, pepper, cucumber, chickpeas, and beans. That is the rest of the ingredients. I know you want to play and I can play in a minute, I promise. I just got to make some lunch, okay? Okay, so I like to use a fairly big Tupperware for this because it does make quite a lot. So it's essentially going to be a chickpea and butter bean salad. So you want, is it two? No, I think it's one can. So one can of chickpeas, one can of butter beans. Both of these will be drained and rinsed. I'm gonna use two red peppers. You can use more ingredients as well if you want to make a bigger kind of portion of this. And then I'm probably gonna use half a red onion. You can use more if you want, um, but I sometimes find that red onion is just very potent. It lingers a lot on my breath, so I don't like to use too much onion. And then you want olive oil, lemons, so I think it's about four lemons that you want and all of these are obviously juice. Garlic granules, oregano, salt and pepper and some red wine vinegar. Cucumber, pepper and the red onions all get chopped up. I do the red onion quite fine just because I don't like it too chunky. And then I do the cucumber and the pepper a little bit more chunky just so it's got a bit more substance to it. He is becoming so naughty. You're becoming such a naughty puppy. I had to put you in air prison. How can I be annoyed at him? Because he just is the cutest dog in the world. Oh, thank you for that. You still have food in the bowl that you can be eating. I'm gonna have a tuna pepper in a minute and then you can have the can, okay? But you're just gonna have to wait. Okay, 
Okay, so that is what it looks like when it's all done. It's just taken me about 20 minutes to do that. Yeah, it makes a decent amount. Obviously, you can add more if you want. Oh my god, it smells delicious. How, how's your day going? Good, how's your day going? Bloody awful. I thought I'd give you guys a quick tour of Dan's office. Oh, George is out. Where is she? I feel like not many people will know that we have a tortoise. I mean, she's technically Dan's tortoise and I am stepmother, <laughs> stepmom. She, she, she is both of our tortoises. No, yeah, she is both of our tortoises, but tortoises? She's both of our tortoise. Yes. Yes. She looks so small. I thought I'd give you guys just like a little tour of Dan's office because we spent last weekend basically giving this a little bit of a makeover. I wish I'd got a clip of the before. If I can find any videos of what this room looked like before, then I'm gonna put them in now. Um, but we've changed the layout of it a little bit. There's only one piece of furniture that's somewhat changed, which is the desk. But all of these cabinets, they were all already in this room, but we've kind of just changed the layout of it. And it looks so much better. It feels so much more spacious in here. So we did actually paint and add coven in here as we have in every single room in this house. It's funny, like I, I didn't intend to put coven in all of the rooms, but I feel like once we did the living room, I did want everything to have quite a cohesive feel. What's everyone's opinions on what color, what should the coven be? Should it match the walls or should it match the ceiling? Because I'm sort of undecided. I mean, it does need a bit of a touch up. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to do that because we did obviously mask everywhere. But when you walk in, we have this sofa here, which was from Swift. And then on this side, we have two cabinets and this little kind of display cabinet, I guess as well, which is all from Ikea. These actually fit perfectly. So both of the taller cabinets used to be along this wall. Um, and then we used to have George behind the door, but it just meant that you couldn't fully open and close this door. And I feel like having this sort of full TV media wall just makes everything look so much more spacious. And then we have Dan's little jelly cat up here that I got him for his birthday. But yeah, we're still debating kind of what to do with the walls in here. I actually do think maybe now a shelf would be quite nice across there, which I know you did suggest and I was a bit like, hmm, not sure. Are you coming around to one of my suggestions? Yeah, maybe. Wow. Yeah, I think I feel like prints on this wall and maybe a shelf along that wall could look quite nice. But George is under here now. She has a little home under the desk. I really love this desk. This is new um, from Etsy. Yeah, it looks really good. We just need to get some prints up on the wall um, and finish decorating and that will be another room done. I'm currently debating what to do about the stairs. Obviously with this being a townhouse we have two flights of stairs and I don't know, I feel like I'm just unsure about what to do with them because as I mentioned in the last vlog we are going to book for someone to come and paint the master bedroom so it kind of makes sense to have the bedroom and the stairs decorated at the same time because I am thinking that I'm definitely going to paint um, the stairs even if it's just a a fresh coat of white. I feel like it just needs a bit of a touch up. But part of me is wondering if I do something just a little bit more interesting than just white, seeing as we have two flights of stairs. I just feel like more could maybe be done with the hallways and the stairs. So I could actually do with any opinions if anyone has any, because at the minute we just have white stairs and then we have a carpet. I mean, it was supposed to be kind of like a mushroomy color, but it comes across or it looks more gray. My dream was always to have a carpet runner going up the stairs because I just feel like it looks so much prettier than just normal carpet. I don't know, it's kind of just like a lot of faff now to take up all of the carpet just to replace it with a carpet runner when the carpet's in perfectly good condition. So realistically, I probably am gonna keep the carpet. But I don't know what to do about the walls. Part of me kind of wants to do wallpaper, but I don't know if that's kind of like a thought that I'm having at the minute and then I would drastically regret getting the wallpaper. I do have a few ideas, so I'll put them in here of things that I've seen on Pinterest. But if anyone has any ideas, any input, any opinions, please help me <laughs> because it's kind of the last thing that I need to make a decision on in terms of like the painting and decorating and it's just one that i'm really struggling with do we put a dado rail going up the stairs do we add paneling but then am i just going a bit crazy with the paneling i don't really want to add too much i feel like even maybe just adding a dado rail would add a little bit of interest to the walls i've seen some pictures on pinterest where they have 
half painting, half wallpaper with a dado rail. And they're all quite nice ideas, so I don't know. I don't know whether to just do something a little bit more interesting, seeing as we have two flights of stairs in the house, or whether to just leave it kind of like a soft green or even just white. It's the one thing that I'm still trying to make a decision on, so if anyone has any thoughts, please let me know. But yeah, I mean, this is what it looks like at the minute, just to give you kind of like an idea. So we have the carpet going all the way across the landings and the stairs and then the walls are just completely plain white yeah part of me thinks maybe like a dado rail would look quite nice i think it's hard as well because i'm very aware of the fact that this home as much as i love this home so much it's not a forever home i'm always kind of going back and forth in my head as to what to actually spend money on and what to just leave for example getting a carpet runner fitted on the stairs as much as I would love to have a runner going up the stairs it costs probably a fair amount of money to have that fitted and with this not being a forever home I'm kind of like well I may as well just wait to do that in the next home instead and to be honest that's kind of why we've done a lot of it ourselves as well because obviously it does save a little bit of money and I feel like it's also just good to sort of learn the skills so that you do have them if you ever want to do anything yourself but yeah it's a funny one really i'm on right move every single day i don't know if anyone else is like that i just love to look on right move i mean i feel like i've said this so many times my dream would be to move to somewhere just a little bit greener one day just a little bit more in the countryside i mean i'm not really in a rush to do that at the minute but i still just love to look and i feel like if the right project came up maybe i would do it i don't know I'm kind of craving like a project to do at the minute. Me and my mom and my dad were speaking the other day about maybe like renovating a van and making a van into like a little camper van. The same with like a house came up that I just think would be a really fun project. Even if it's not necessarily a house that I would then move into, I feel like I would just really enjoy doing that. And I don't know, I'm just like really craving like a little project or something to be working on at the minute. So hopefully at some point this year, we'll find the perfect thing to do. Okay, we have a new cookie. Have a new because cookie. Millie's cookie was closed. I'm still sad about much this. to Dan's upset. But we've got a Ben's cookie instead. I feel like so far that's not a good reaction. It's too cakey. Too cakey. Oh no. Oh dear. shop cost a fortune i got one two three four five six seven pairs of pants i got seven pairs of pants we went on a little bit of a date night last night um just to the traffic center we went to the driving range because dan's been really getting into golf recently we went to the driving range we then went for some sushi and then whilst we were at the traffic center i was like Do you know what i'm gonna have a look at a few shops because I mentioned this in the last vlog, I feel like I've just not known what to buy recently and I do a lot of online shopping when it comes to clothes and I feel like that's sometimes where I go wrong because obviously you can't try things on when you get them online so you kind of just have to like guess if something's going to fit you and I don't know, I just sometimes I can't be bothered when I'm in a shop going into the changing rooms and actually trying things on. I tend to either just get things online or I'll buy them in store and then try them on when I get home. 
But it was really nice and quiet last night in the travel centre, so I was like, do you know what? I'm going to do a bit of shopping and I'm actually going to try some things on. So I went into Abercrombie because I recently got Dan some joggers from Abercrombie. And when they came, I was actually shocked at the quality. The quality of their joggers and their loungewear is incredible. By far, like, the softest joggers I've ever felt. So ever since I got those joggers for Dan, I've been wanting to get myself some joggers as well because I don't really have a lot of like joggers, loungewear, kind of like pants at the minute that I wear. Oh my goodness, I am now obsessed with Abercrombie. I spend a small fortune on basically all trousers. So I got some linen pants and jeans and a pair of joggers. I was shocked with quality fit especially when it came to the denim because I don't really wear a lot of jeans and I think it's because I always struggle to find jeans that I really like the fit the shape the feel of so I don't think I actually intended to but I've come home with four pairs of jeans I think I only meant to buy three of them so I am going to try them on now just so that you guys can see them as well and then I also got two pairs of linen pants as well I don't think I have my receipt in here I think Dan's got the receipt downstairs but it was supposed to come to 450 pounds and the guy that was serving us I didn't get his name but he was so lovely like one of the loveliest sales assistants people I've ever met he was just so kind so friendly so helpful as well like very informative he was telling us all about the jeans yeah as I said it was supposed to be 450 pounds the total for what I bought and he gave me a discount of 100 pounds and I was like okay, I'm definitely coming back here to shop more because they had so many beautiful pieces. Even the linen, you guys know, I am a big linen girl, especially in the summer. I have three pairs of linen pants from NAKD that I love. I have a pair from M&S that I love. They're just like my go-to in spring and summer because I just think they look really smart, but they're still really comfortable as well. So I picked up these um, linen trousers in this really gorgeous kind of like white cream colour. I love as well is on all of the tags they say what the fit is. So these are ultra high rise wide leg which is perfect for me when it comes to linen pants. I love that they've got the belt loops as well if you want to add a belt. Oh my god. Softest, comfiest linen pants I have ever tried on. They did them in this colour, they had a stone colour, they had a black colour. I'm tempted to get more, but for now I just got the cream one, so I'll try those on in a second. And then I also got this really gorgeous pair of white, slightly thinner linen pants, and they're a little bit more low-waisted as well. I wish you guys could feel this stuff, like I really wish you could. It's like I said about the joggers, so I did get just like the grey mall joggers that Dan has. I got them in a size small. To be fair, they do look like they're maybe going to be a little bit... This is the only thing that I didn't try on. I feel like they might be a little bit small, but I can always exchange them if they don't fit. But I can't express to you, like, the fleece line, the material. I mean, Dan's had his since January now. They've been through the wash many times because, obviously, they get very muddy on walks and things. And they still feel just as soft. So I'm very excited that I now have a pair of my own. But yeah, these linen pants, they are a little bit more on the see-through side, but I thought for summer to go over bikinis or even with nude underwear, I think they might be okay. I don't know. They are a little bit see-through, but the other pair aren't, but I feel like these are more designed to be kind of like beach pants. And again, they have a really gorgeous wide leg and then honestly star of the show i feel like is the jeans because i've just always struggled with jeans and i wanted to find some low waist jeans just with like a little top i feel like low waisted jeans or like mid waist i would say is my preferred kind of fit i don't like anything super high waisted with jeans let me like try i'm gonna have to try them all on now anyway because there is a pair in here that is an imposter okay so Pair number one. Like, can you just see that they just literally fit perfectly on the waist? Like, there's a little bit of room, which is perfect for just, like, sitting and eating and things. But for the most part, they sit perfectly. And I feel like this length is perfect as well, because I hate when jeans, like, bag here. Really like the length. I tried them on with trainers, and they sit perfectly on trainers. These ones, very similar color oh i think these might be the ones i didn't mean to buy <laughs> um yeah i have a feeling these are the ones that i didn't 
intend to buy so i feel like those will probably be returned these ones i believe were just slightly lower and slouchier yeah so these are a little bit lower on the waist than the first pair i mean it's very minimal but they just feel really comfortable as well the low waist jeans and i also picked up this color which is kind of in between a sort of like beige and a grey. I'd say they're like a warm grey. These ones are the same size but they do fit slightly bigger but I kind of like that they're just a little bit looser. Again they just feel a little bit more sort of relaxed. And we have the linen pants. I mean I've literally got black underwear on and you can see that they're maybe you can maybe see a tiny tiny bit but obviously they like i said it's black underwear and again just like the perfect length for flip-flops trainers whatever you want to wear them with yeah these are a little bit too small i feel like i need a bigger size than the joggers so i'm probably going to exchange these but they're so soft i have also just got a new order from amazon as well the leggings on amazon oh my goodness i think they're only about 13 pounds a pair they're my favorite leggings ever so i picked up a new pair in this chocolate brown color i think i'm going to put them on now to take freddie for a walk yeah i'm like obsessed with the leggings on amazon at the minute they're so affordable but the quality is incredible they're not remotely see-through i mean a lot of leggings that i have from more expensive brands tend to be see-through at times whereas the ones that i get on amazon are so opaque okay so these are the leggings I'm not joking when i say they are the softest leggings Ever. they feel like butter but yeah those are some of my new purchases i also got a sweater from zara i have to say zara and mango i was expecting more of yesterday when i went in so um i might have a little bit of a look online but i did get one kind of like high neck vest from zara that i really like as i said i'll try and link those bits down below <laughs> Possibly, but that's not really saying much. It's not, but I really feel like spring is coming. It's, it's making me very happy. I think it's just because the sun's out, because you can feel the sun on you a little bit. Yeah. It makes it's it feel no warm. So. It's just, yeah, it feels really warm today. Well, warm for Manchester. <laughs> I was gonna say really warm might be a bit of a stretch, but warm compared to what it has been. We're not in the minus, so. That's no. <laughs> We're maybe in double digits if we're lucky. We're about to have the salmon and the bean salad for lunch. So I thought I'd quickly show you guys what the dressing is that I have with it. As I said, I got the recipe for this from M the Nutritionist. So it's mostly yogurt. I use the 0% fat Faye yogurt. Um, and I tend to do like two heaped tablespoons maybe a little bit more i kind of just eyeball everything and then i taste it as i go and then i'm using reduced fat salad cheese just because it's a little bit healthier than full fat feta and i've added some red wine vinegar some oregano and a good amount of lemon i use about a full lemon for both of us just finished cooking the salmon in the air fryer so for the salmon i use some mayo paprika a little bit of lemon salt and pepper um, and then that goes in for 12 minutes and then I'm gonna plate everything up now. How delicious does that look? Like it is literally my favorite meal on the planet. Um, I've just added some balsamic glaze to the top, but that is the yogurt dip, the salad and the salmon. And honestly, it is just so good. You have to try it. waking up every single morning it's a bright sunshine blue skies oh my gosh i'm just i'm hoping this stays because it's just making every single day so much better i'm really looking a little bit different today i did actually fake tan last night i always find that the first day of fresh fake tan is my least favorite day because i feel like it just sometimes looks still a little bit blotchy especially on my face i mean i have rinsed it off, washed my face a little bit with some micellar water. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly do some skincare and a little bit of light makeup. Anyway, it's Wednesday. I've got my two drinks this morning, my little smoothie and a coffee. I've not really been drinking as much coffee recently just because I do find that when I have coffee in the morning, I tend to feel more tired throughout the day. I think the initial caffeine boost obviously gives me an energy boost but then I do tend to crash afterwards. So 
it's a bit of a double-edged sword because I actually just love a morning coffee. It's just one of my like simple, happy pleasures in life is having an iced coffee in the morning. So I don't know, sometimes I don't have it because I know I'm going to end up feeling tired again in like five hours time. But today I was like, I just really want a coffee this morning. I just like, I love the taste of it. I need to actually get a coffee machine that allows me to drink decaf because it's not even really the, the caffeine in it. It's more like the taste and just the, I don't know, just like the experience of drinking the coffee, if that makes any sense. But I made myself a coffee um, and the same smoothie I make every single day that I have a smoothie, which is frozen berries, uh, frozen cherries, vegan protein powder, greens and water. It is just so good. And I feel like really healthy drinking it because it has the extra greens and the protein powder in. I like it's such a girl thing to like have multiple drinks. Like I just love to have options. If I had it my way, we would also have a fresh orange, like a, a juicer. Fresh orange juice in the morning. Oh my God, we do have like the little mini juicer, which is what I use to juice lemons and or oranges if we ever have oranges but it's really funny i was actually making a list on my notes app the other day it was so random actually but i feel like i always see things on instagram of people's houses and really cool like design features in houses my instagram is mostly interior design probably because it's what i engage with the most like i just love looking at beautiful homes and i love getting inspiration obviously for this house and for future houses as well but i've started making a list because i see so many things where i'm like oh my goodness that is such a good idea and i would never think to do that and my dream one day is to build like design and build our own house. Dan is an architect so I always say to him like you can design and sort of do all of the actual structural house and then I'll do the interior design <laughs> and I feel like that way we make like a really good team. So I've started making like a dream house notes list because I feel like it's good to kind of just like set goals for things like that as well and I feel like the more that I think about it hopefully the more it will at some point come into fruition. But yeah, I've added that I want a hidden pantry. I would love a pantry. I feel like that's more an American thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like it's more an American thing um, to have a pantry, but I would love to have a pantry that's kind of like, looks like a cupboard, so it's like a hidden pantry. And then you go inside and you have things like your toaster. I've added a juicer because I really want a proper juicer to make fresh orange juice one day and i also saw one recently where this woman had um like her KitchenAid mixer in a cupboard like a, a lower cupboard that pulls out so it then becomes part of the worktop but the, you can then just tuck it away as well it's like all these things it's like oh my goodness i i just love it it gives me so much like inspiration one day anyway i'm gonna do my skincare quickly We've actually taken Freddie to daycare today, so it always feels very quiet in the mornings when he's gone to daycare. I mean, you guys saw in the last vlog how excited he gets. He, it's like he waits for it every single morning now. Every single morning when me and Dan get up, he just kind of sits there, his tail's like going. He just got this look in his eyes to be like, oh my God, are they gonna say it to me? Are they gonna say it to me? It's today the day. It's actually getting kind of crazy. At this point, I'm like, we're gonna have to start taking him like two days a week rather than one because he just gets so excited. But he knew this morning. I don't know how he knew, but he knew. I think he started to also understand when Dan says to me, do you want to tell him? Because Dan will say that to me and then he'll let me say to Freddie, do you want to go to the play den? It's funny, we call it the play den even though it's called daycare because I used to think that daycare was called puppy play, the puppy play den rather than doggy daycare, which I also think is a really cute name, but it's kind of just stuck now because Dan thought it was really funny when I want to call it puppy play den. So when we speak to Freddie, he knows the word play den, but we can say daycare and he won't know that. So it's like got a proper word for Freddie and it's own little code word for when we want to speak about it. Um, but I think he's also started to understand when Dan says, do you want to tell it? He said that this morning and Freddie was doing leaps and bounds around the room. It is just my favourite thing in the world. So yeah, Fred's at daycare today, which means it's a very quiet house. My mum did stay last night. I can't remember what I actually last vlogged. I think it might have been the salmon that we had for lunch. I didn't really vlog a lot of the rest of yesterday because I pretty much just did some editing and then I went to see my nana with my mum in the evening 
um, which was actually so lovely. I've not seen my nana since Christmas. So yeah, I went to see my nana and granddad and then my mum stayed. I'm just using some of my Inky List moisturiser. I love this stuff. Yeah, I'm getting through this so quickly because I'm completely obsessed with it. Just as a daytime moisturiser, like a day-to-day, -day, something to go into your makeup, something to just add some hydration to the skin. It just ticks all the boxes and obviously the inky list is very affordable as well so obviously i did get sent this one for free obviously i did work with them in the last video but i will 100% be repurchasing this myself and would 100% recommend it i feel like not everyone loves brand deals i mean obviously it's a big part of how I earn money on YouTube, which I mean, I do try to have, you know, a good mix of like unsponsored and sponsored videos and hopefully you guys enjoy them all anyway, but I do take my brand deals very seriously in the sense of like, I decline things that I don't want to do. I try products before I actually do any sort of brand deals. So yeah, this is my current moisturizer. And so far, I am really, really loving it. It's just very hydrating and very sort of like thick on the skin. Even though Freddie is at daycare today, I still need to do my outdoor walk for the day for 75 hard. Guys, I can't believe how quickly it's going now. It's actually, I don't want to say I'm feeling sad about it because I mean, obviously I can still choose to do 75 hard anyway. So it's not really like sad that it's ending, but I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'm like... It's really flying by now and I'm almost like, oh my gosh, like, not that I want it to go on for any longer, but then I also kind of do. It's it's a really weird feeling. I'm just going to add a little bit of serum. This is my Dalba first spray serum and also some oil from Drunk Elephant. I've actually been thinking a lot the past few days about how I want to incorporate everything that I've been doing throughout 75 hard into my day-to-day -day life going forward because I was saying this to Dan yesterday the one thing that I really don't want to do is once 75 hard is done is to just kind of like fall off doing any sort of exercise any sort of like you know fitness healthy eating like I still want to have some kind of like boundaries with myself because I feel like I kind of need that otherwise it does become a bit of a slippery slope of like I, okay if I've if I've not kind of set myself sort of like goals or just like boundaries with my eating and my fitness I kind of just like fall off and I'll just it'll just become one of those where we're ordering takeaway like five times a week again and I really don't want to do that because this is by far like the best shape that I've been in in years now and it's really funny actually because I think throughout the whole of 75 hard so throughout this year since January I've probably been to the gym four times like I can count the amount of times that I've been to the gym on one hand because it has been that few the fact that I've been to the gym so little but I'm still in such good shape it really does just go to show like you don't have to go to the gym and you don't have to be doing weightlifting or anything super intense to kind of see the results because I was always one of these people that was like okay you know I want to go to the gym I want to do like glute days leg days which I do enjoy doing when I'm in the mind to do them but recently I've just not really been bothered to do it and it's been one of my favorite things about this whole journey really is realizing that like I don't have to force myself to go to the gym like when I'm not enjoying it if you know what I mean I can stay at home I can do pilates I can go for long walks that is kind of enough that paired with just like you know reasonable healthy eating is enough for me to kind of like feel healthy so yeah I've been kind of trying to think about what I want to do going forward because obviously I will have days after 75 hard where I don't do my workouts and I order takeaway and you know I just have like lazy days and things so I think what I'm going to try and do is basically like have one day a week where I get a takeaway and I just allow myself to be a little bit more lazy and then on the rest of the days I think I'm probably going to try to stick to what I've been doing because I feel like that will be a pretty good balance it's become so ingrained into my life now anyway that I don't really think it's not it's not like I wake up and I'm like oh like I've got to do my workouts I there definitely was a point where I was doing that but I guess because it's been 
60 three however many days now it kind of just feels like normal life so i'm quite happy to sort of keep it up but then have one day a week where i just let myself go <laughs> i think that's what i'm going to try and do going forward yeah i need to go for a walk this morning and then i'm going to try and go skating at 12. the ice rink's open at quite awkward times it's 12 till half three i think so I'm going to try to go at about 12 and hopefully it'll be nice and quiet. We did actually get shouted at for filming the other day. <laughs> or Dan got shouted at for filming the other day. So I'm probably, I don't know if I'll be able to vlog anything. But I just want to go more so for myself to just get used to it. I just need to get used to going. It's like the same with getting used to going to the gym. You know, when I first started going to the gym by myself, it really intimidated me because it's very new and I don't really know what I'm doing. But once I started going... I got used to it and it was fine so I'm going to try and go just using some of my ultraviolet SPF 50 drop and then we've actually got quite an exciting rest of the week now because I'm actually going to go to my nana and grandpa's tomorrow which I'm so excited about because I've not seen my nana and grandpa I don't even know like it's sometime last year and it makes me really sad that I can't remember when I last saw them because I love my nana and grandpa so much and I love where they live I love going to see them I don't go enough so I've decided I'm gonna go tomorrow after seeing my mum and my auntie Jen and my cousin Freddie. So they live in Gloucestershire which is kind of why I don't get to see them as much as I would like to because obviously it is fairly I mean it's usually about two and a half three hours to drive I'm going to try and drive fairly early so that I don't get stuck in traffic um but yeah I'm going to go and stay Thursday night and Friday night just by myself um because Dan's obviously got to stay here and work and he's going to stay here with Freddie too and we've said that we're going to go to Bista Village on Friday which I'm very excited about because as I have mentioned I feel like I've not really known recently what my style is or what I'm looking for when I'm shopping I don't know like just what I want to buy I did actually spend a couple of hours just looking online last night on like House of CB, Mesh Key, NAKD just to kind of get some ideas because I do want to order some new clothes and sort of like treat myself to a couple of new pieces now that I have cleared my wardrobe out and I've also decided that I'm gonna sell a lot of my current designer items um just because they don't get enough use and they just kind of sit on the shelf and it just feels pointless having them so seeing as I'm going to be selling those items I think I'm going to be selling them through Lux Cheshire I'm just waiting to hear back from them um, because I'm going to be selling a fair few of my like Louis Vuitton bags, I've got a pair of Louboutins I want to sell, sunglasses, belts, like all kinds of random things. I've got a Gucci bag that I want to sell. All of the money that I kind of get from selling those items, I'm going to basically see if there's anything at Vista that I want to treat myself to. For anyone that doesn't know what Vista Village is, it's basically a designer outlet store. It's kind of similar to Cheshire Oaks for anyone who lives up here. Um, but I much prefer Vista Village because they have a lot more high-end designer. I've only been, I've been twice actually, I've been once with Rach and I've been once with Dan. Um, and I was going to go by myself, but my nana and gramps have said that they want to come with me. My nana is just such a great person to shop with. My grandpa wouldn't say the same because <laughs> he is often the one that's just stood waiting around. But my nana loves a good shop. I probably get my shopping addiction from my nana. So we're all going to go to Vista Village together. My auntie Meg might be coming as well. Um, and yeah, I'm going to see like if there's anything there that I want to treat myself to. But yeah, I'm very excited to see them. And I'm really hoping this weather holds out now because it is kind of like an outdoor shopping village centre thing. <laughs> so it would be nice if the weather kind of holds out for the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to go. Obviously, I will bring you guys along. I'm going to see see what's there last time i went i picked up a couple of bags from tory birch i think i might have just got bags from tory birch because they had a great discount on in tory birch i want to have a look in holland cooper as well because you guys know i love holland cooper i've actually got my eye on a couple of pieces on the website at the minute but i was like if i'm going to Mr. village I may as well see if i can get myself a little discount yeah it's gonna be a lovely fun rest of the week i mean it's mother's day on sunday as well i'm not actually sure if i'm seeing my mum yet because she is a very busy being anyway i'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna go on a little walk i've been speaking for 30 minutes so i'm sorry that i kind of just like pulled away <laughs> Oh,
you can measure it. That's what that line's for. Well, no, 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 but I don't need to buy them, it's just watering. <laughs> we can't all be as brilliant as you now. <laughs> what can I say? good coffee good morning guys it's now friday um i didn't really vlog anything yesterday just because pretty much the whole day was just spent traveling got here around five ish so we had a little catch up had some dinner watched the apprentice which i've not actually been watching to be honest but um it was actually quite entertaining so we sat and watched the apprentice and then i got to bed and yeah we are heading to vista village today so i'm just gonna do Probably just quick light makeup. I think I've got about half an hour to get ready, um, which is not a lot of time for me. I have got a couple of new things to try. So the first one is this Anastasia brow freeze in this sort of like brush form. This is the brow gel that I use literally all the time. Like I've tried quite a few brow gels at this point, but I've never found one that I love as much as this in terms of the formula. And I saw that they started doing it in this kind of like format where you get the brush rather than just a pot. I thought I'd give this a go because it does, I mean if I like this then it will just make life easier in the sense that I can just pack this rather than the pot and a brush for the pot. I mean already that feels a little bit different than the brow gel in the pot because it does feel a little bit more liquidy I guess the right word would be. Um, but anyway I've just put this sweater on. I got this from Zara the other day the same night that I went shopping in Abercrombie. I really like this. I really love this kind of like charcoal-y grey colour at the minute. I know it's very sort of in. Um, I'm not usually like much of a grey girl, but I quite like this sweater. So got this from Zara. I think I'm going to wear it with some of my Abercrombie jeans because I'm just obsessed with them. I feel like I have to literally like press my brows down. <laughs> it's not the most attractive thing to do. Interesting. I'm not sure... I feel about that yet because I, I feel like it's not got the same kind of like staying power as the gel does just because it is a little bit more liquidy. Okay, I mean that's not my greatest work on the brows but it's going to have to do for today. Okay, 20 minutes. I feel like we can do this if I just get this show on the road using my Inky List moisturiser. I might actually just add a little bit of face oil as well because I feel like my skin is just dry as hell. SPF, I'm gonna do my ultraviolet drops. Okay, now this could be risky, but I did bring my new Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. This could be risky trying a new product, but you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna live life on the edge today. Mm, looks like that could be a bit dark. Let me just see. Oh, actually. We might be okay. I love a product you can just blend in with your hands. I mean, it just makes life so quick and easy. Hmm, I like that. That match, kind of. <laughs> Make sure it actually matches my arms. I might just add a little bit of my Fenty foundation stick. I am obsessed with this at the minute. It's probably my favorite foundation currently and then again we've got a new concealer this is from kylie cosmetics it's the power plush longwear in the shade 2w um i think i'm gonna mix maybe my charlotte tilbury a little bit as well just because this is a slightly darker shade it doesn't say what the finish is and it's not too drying and then we've also got the hourglass veil setting powder which I believe I've tried before, but I have no memory of whether I liked it or not. Mm, coverage looks good. I don't know why trying new under eye powders scares me sometimes. I'd say that looks pretty good. In fact, I'm just gonna finish this makeup off camera because that was all of the new makeup that I've got to try and I'm running very late. <laughs> um, so I'll probably next see you guys at Vista Village.
so it's now a Saturday. I'm back at home. It was actually a really nice drive home. It took me about two and a half hours, which is what it took me to get there as well. Dan is currently downstairs watching the first two episodes of The Gentleman because I watched the first two last night with my nana and gramps. I've not actually seen the movie, The Gentleman, which I know is like a really, really big film. So I'm gonna have to watch that after we finish watching the series, but we started it last night and so far I'm really enjoying it. So Dan's currently catching up on that downstairs. I have a feeling we're probably gonna binge a good few episodes this evening. I thought I'd quickly show you what I got from Vista Village yesterday because it was a very successful shopping trip. Literally had the best day. Like we had such a lovely, sunny, dry day for it as well. And I had the best time. Like I had so much fun shopping with my Nana. Bless my gramps. I feel like he spent the majority of his day sat around waiting for us to shop. I'm not joking when I say I could spend hours at Vista Village. Just like the brands, the shops, the deals, the discounts, it is so worth going. I also really like to kind of look in all of the shops before I commit to buying anything at places like Vista Village because I feel like it's so easy to just go and spend money. And there's so many shops there. There's so many shops, so many brands. They've got Coach, they've got Dior, Gucci, Prada, YSL, Corey Birch, Max Mara, Todd's, Celine. I mean, literally everything that you could think of, they have there. So yeah, we did kind of like a lot of mooching to be begin with before I actually started buying things because I saw so many things that I really really loved um, so the first purchase that I made was in Max Mara. They had such a gorgeous selection of pieces and really, really good discounts too. I don't actually have anything from Max Mara, but I saw a pair of heels and I fell in love instantly with them. The one thing that I did kind of want to look for was smaller heels or even like pumps, flats, that kind of thing. I saw this colorway, this really gorgeous, it's quite like a cool toned nude color and instantly i fell in love with these they were also 50 percent off the last size four um and i tried them on and they're a tiny tiny bit big i feel like i can't tell if they've just been tried on a lot i did ask if they had another size four in these which unfortunately they didn't so i ended up getting them anyway because they were 50 percent off I loved the colour. They actually went with the jeans that I was wearing perfectly, which were the Abercrombie jeans that I showed a few days ago. Um, and I just loved the shape of these. They just have the perfect kind of like pointed toe. I love this little cut out here with the M. I love the cutouts at the side. The heel height is really, really cute. Very comfortable. I feel like for summer, they'll be perfect. For jeans, they're perfect. Um, I just don't really have a lot of lower heels at the minute. In fact, I don't I don't think I have any low heels <laughs> and sometimes when I want to look like smart and a little bit dressy I still also want to be comfortable say if it's just for going for dinner with friends um so yeah I feel like these are just going to be like a perfect sort of staple shoe in that sense okay then the next purchase was from Tory Burch I did actually get two bags from Tory Burch last year as well in fact no it was three bags actually because again I have to say the discount in Tory Burch is phenomenal last year i got some more sort of like fun summery bags and this time that i went as i said i wanted to find like the perfect staple neutral bag because a lot of the bags that i have are black um so i don't really have a lot of things for lighter colors like nudes browns that kind of thing so they have quite a few in tory birch and this is the one that i ended up settling on which i absolutely fell in love with this is the size again i don't really have a lot of bags that are this kind of size either this kind of like medium size handbag i think that's again sometimes the issue that i have with a lot of the bags that i currently have is they're just very small or they tend to be kind of like small shoulder bags and um, you can't really fit a lot in them i mean not that i have like tons and tons of stuff but I don't know, I just really wanted like a nice sort of medium sized neutral bag. I feel like for summer, this is just going to be perfect. There was a couple of bags in places like YSL that I really liked, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a bag because I feel like the bags that I have from Tory Burch, they're a great price point and they're also just the same quality. So yeah, I do quite like shopping at the sort of more like mid level luxury brands i don't know if it's actually going to say on the tag now um but this was i believe it was over 500 pounds originally and i got it for 240 i think it was 
So less than half price and it is just perfect. I did also just get like a new small wallet as well because my card holder at the minute is bursting at the seams and they had a deal on where if you spend over 300 pounds you got an extra 20% off and the bag with just the initial 20% off came to about 280 I think it was so it actually worked out cheaper for me to get another item and the bag if you know I mean it's kind of girl math but do you know what I'm saying you basically said to me if you get something else it's gonna work out cheaper and I was like you don't have to tell me twice to do more shopping so don't you worry so yeah I just picked up this little like quilted black kind of card holder purse situation last but not least i got two pairs of heels from jimmy choo so jimmy choo was actually the first shop that i went into because it was kind of like the first it was in the first section of shops when you walk in from the car park and i saw the heels in the window and i was like oh my god they were just so beautiful and it was very busy in there when i first went in so i was like you know what i'm gonna come back in right at the end hopefully it will have quietened down so they basically had a section at the back because jimmy two heels are expensive they did have a lot of their sort of I'm guessing what were newer season shoes at the front of the store but then at the back of the store they had a whole section of heels that were basically just like crazily discounted so I started trying some on with my Nana and Gramps and I mean I'm just gonna go shopping with my Nana all the time because she's the one that talked me into getting both colors I mean, luckily they had both of these in my size and I don't really have any heels like these that are a little bit more glitzy a little bit more sparkly more sort of like occasion heels this is what they look like i absolutely love them i mean i don't think the camera is gonna do the sparkles justice i struggle with heels i struggle to find a heels that fit me and b heels that i find comfortable so i feel like when i do I don't mind spending a little bit more money on them because I know I'm going to get my use out of them when I do wear heels. There's just nothing worse than being in heels that are uncomfortable. And I tried these on. Um, I got a size four and a half in these and they were a tiny little bit tight on this kind of section here. If anything, I feel like it gave a little bit more support. And I just love the way that they looked on. I just thought they looked so feminine, so sort of like simple but still had a little bit going on because of the sparkles and um, so I got them in the black I think the nude are my favorite if I'm being honest I feel like yeah I think the nude are my favorite but I ended up getting both because they were so well discounted so these were originally 850 I believe and they were 70% off so I think each pair was £220. So I got two pairs for what was, what essentially should have been half the price of one pair. Yeah, I think the nude are my favourite. The only thing I was a little bit concerned about with these is just keeping the sort of like front bit clean because they are kind of like a suede material. But I feel like if I ever wear them, it's probably going to be like for an indoor event. They're just so pretty. I just love them so much. So those were all of my purchases at Worcester Village. It was a very successful shopping trip. Um, as I said, I am in the process of selling some of my more high-end designer things as well. So I feel like it kind of all balances out as well. Again, girl math, you know, <laughs> telling myself I didn't actually really spend any money because I will be selling some stuff. So that's going to compensate for these things. So really, I got all of this for free. The only other thing I did want to quickly unbox is this that my gramps snuck into the car as I was leaving. So I think I have mentioned this on my channel before, but any of the sort of like NFL tops, baseball tops, just sort of like American sports jersey stuff that I wear all comes from my gramps because my gramps is a huge sports fan when it comes to the NFL um the nbl just like american sports in general he absolutely loves and over time he's basically collected a lot of t-shirts sweaters hoodies whatever it is and he very kindly often gives me some um, whenever i see him and i just love it because i live in them all the time if you ever see me wearing like a bears top um 
I had like a New York Mets top on before. If you ever see me in anything that's like an American sports top, it's come from my gramps. And I was thinking, I was like, oh my God, I wonder if he's got anything for me to take home this time. And then he brought out a big old bag. So I thought we'd quickly see what is in here together. Like, oh my goodness, I just love it so much. Oh, we've even got some shorts. Okay, cute. Like, his collection is actually crazy big. Crazy, crazy big. Oh, but he's actually given me quite a lot of shorts. I don't know if he's, he might have put these in for Dan, to be fair. But to be fair, actually, screw Dan, I'm keeping them. And they're a size large, but they're a drawstring. So I think in the summer, they will be really, really cute. I've got a Bears hoodie, of course. He is a big Bears fan, which, you know, they haven't been doing great the past couple of years. <laughs> Hoping at some point they'll they'll climb their way back up. Okay, we've got a San Francisco. Is it San Francisco the 49ers? I should know this seeing as my boyfriend literally plays American football. Oh, it's the 49ers. Fine. I got this one right. 49ers. Ugh. What do you mean? Ugh. <laughs> no one likes the Lewis 49ers. Lewis would like that. Yeah, Lewis, Lewis would like it. Is it the 49ers? Yes, it is. Faithful to the UK. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, got another little bear's top. Ooh. Oh, we got Cubs. It's Cubs. A Cubs hoodie. Falcons. No. Shit. Eagles? Yes. They look the same. Where are the Eagles based? Philadelphia. There we go. Yeah, well, was that yeah. right? Yeah, well done. Bear, the Bears. The Bears. The Bears. And then another little sweater. I'm oh gonna love it. I'm stocked up for the foreseeable. It's my favorite thing. I feel like even with like all Gramps clothes. Okay, so it's now Sunday. I thought I'd just quickly sort of round this vlog off because I've just about finished editing it and it's over an hour long. And it's really making me laugh because I feel like the majority of this vlog is me literally just like waffling to myself. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it anyway. Also Mother's Day today as well. So I'm gonna go and spend some time with my mama. Um, and yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'm very excited for next week's vlog because we are finally at the end of 75 Hard and I actually can't believe it's nearly over. So we've got a very exciting week coming. But yeah, thank you guys for watching as always and I will see you in the next one.